Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. Before we get into today's myths, there are some new additions to the Yandere Simulator game that have never been seen before, and we are going to check them out right now. Added a new animation for Kokona when she is answering her Monday morning phone call. It's a motion captured animation. The movements of a real human being were captured for this animation. Replace the stretching exercises animation with a much smoother version of the animation. Replace the distracting radio music with a new original track. Replaced the bad time music track again. Added new props to the photography room. Okay, so the first one we are going to check out is the Kokona phone call because I am curious about the motion capture. Let's do 7.33 a.m. Wait, fuck. Okay, I guess you can't do it when you're in Senpai's Ara. So, there you go. And the reason why I want to check these animations out is because I'm always curious about the development of this game. It's moving along very well. A lot of people are always asking me my thoughts on the Yandere Simulator game. I'm just a gamer just like you guys. I just want to test things out and try it. Why are these people still walking? It's 7.33 a.m. Hurry the fuck up and go to the fountain, you lazy bums. Where is Kakoni at? I want to see this new animation. But yeah, I'm just a fan like you guys. I just want to see the development of the game, so we might as well all, you know, first-hand experience it right now. Where the fuck is Kakona? It's almost 740. Is that dude gonna call her? Oh, there she is. Okay, let's put this shit in cinematic and witness this ourselves. Okay, she's looking at who it is, answering the call. I told you not to call me when I'm at school. Making more realistic movements like with her I body. Said, I see you. Like I said, that was a one-time thing. I don't want to do that again. did you say? Oh yeah, she's liking the price. She always liked the price. Well, if it's just one more time, then I guess it's okay. How about tonight? Where we met last time? In Sesuta town? Okay then, I'll see you tonight. <sighs> okay, her hand still goes in her big ass boob, but this. it looks way better now. She does move like a real human being. You know, like when you're talking on the phone and you're just like swaying back and forth. Like me personally, when I'm talking on the phone, I pace back and forth in the room because I can't stand still when I'm talking on the phone. Anyway, that was the motion captured animation for Kakona. Next thing we are going to do is we are going to listen to the new original soundtrack that is on the radio because the last one was very obnoxious. So let's see if this one is less obnoxious. Yeah, I'm jamming out, guys. Woo, yeah. Rock out with my cock out. Woo. Okay, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> okay, another thing that's been added to the game is the gym teacher's stretching animation has been upgraded to something else. Let's see what it is. Okay. She's still doing the, the stretchy, stretchy thing. Now she's pacing to the other side of the room. You better do something different this time. Nope, she's still stretching. Well, maybe she's doing the same animation, but it's just smoother. It did say in the additions log that it's a much smoother animation now. And I could see how it's more smooth. It does seem more, you know, realistic of a human body. Yeah, you like what I said? Yeah, you agree with me? You are not one of my students. Bitch, nobody in here is none of your students. You don't even have a student. I think you're in the wrong classroom. I think you're in the wrong classroom, motherfucker. You wanna, you wanna Please go? Please hurry along to your own. Okay, classroom. she wants to go real quick. Yandere. I got a puncher. <laughs> yeah, I think I stretched that torso out pretty good. And the last two things that have been added to Yandere Simulator is that Bad Time Mode now has another original soundtrack. You guys can hear it right now. Personally, I don't really listen to that. I don't really listen to the soundtracks. I turn off all the music anyway. And the photography club now has some new props. You got your lights, you got your camera, you got your action, you got your typical stool, the sexy ass stool, if I do say so myself. You got everything the photography club needs. So there you go, guys. Those are the latest additions to Yandere Simulator. Let's get on to the myths. Jay, I got it. Instead of getting the teacher to distract Kakona, get Kakona to distract the gym teacher, and then see if you can take the answer sheet. I like the way you think, Yandere-chan. Okay, smile for the camera, mamacita. 
There you go. She's tilting her head because she knows she's a sexy mamacita. So we got the information that we need. All we need to do now is get Kakona to distract her. And we are going to do that at 8.20 a.m. Because that's around the time the gym teacher goes and... What the fuck? <laughs> Everybody looks like they're salsa dancing. It's like a big orgy of salsa dancing. Okay, I guess I ran into an unintentional glitch. That's pretty cool. So just fast forward time, and then everybody is salsa dancing at the gate. All right. Somebody should have invited me to the salsa dancing party because I should have brought my salsa dancing shoes. Shit, I never get invited anywhere. Thanks for the invite. But anyway, everything is back to normal. Everyone is walking in a big ass line. Oh my god, hold on. I'm gonna try this again and I wanna falcon punch all of them in a row because that would be so fucking cool. Hold on. I can't pass up that opportunity. I have to falcon punch the fuck out of them. So let's go into falcon mode and then let's do the same process. This time we won't go that far. We're gonna do 720. That feels about right. Let's see if it happens again. There you go. Everybody is salsa dancing at the gate. And I am going to falcon punch the fuck out of everybody. Okay, let me time this right. And let's do it. Oh, shit. That's fucking cool. One more time. Hold on. I got to do that one more time. I got to get everybody. Okay, let's try this one again. And I remember that you can't falcon punch senpai anymore. So it's going to be impossible to get every student. But I'm going to try to get as many as I can. I'm going to try to get a new record. So let's go to 710. Everybody should be salsa dancing at the gate. Yep, perfect. And let's do this. So I'm going to try to get as close as I can. And yeah, then... Right. Boom! Yeah! Okay, let's do it one more time for the homie. Boom! Oh shit! Fuck! Okay, you know what? That's as many as I can do. Anyway, let's get back into the myths and get Kakona to distract the teacher. Okay, it is now 8.21 a.m. The gym teacher is now walking to her destination so she can do a little bit of stretchy stretchy. We have to get Kakona... Okay, she's walking up the stairs. Hopefully this works because sometimes when they're already going to class, they won't help you out. So can you distract the gym teacher, please? Please go ask this person if they have a crush on anyone. Text me their answer later. Sorry, I can't help you right now. It's time for class. Okay, you know what? Let's ask this bad girl if she can help us with this. Ask for a favor. Distract the teacher, please. Sorry, I can't help you right now. It's time for class. Fuck! Okay, I totally forgot that they can't distract when the time is coming, so that is not gonna work. Yeah, you can't get any student to distract because the time that the gym teacher goes over to the faculty room is also the same time where the students go to class. So the gym teacher is gonna be here and no student will be able to distract her and you also can't get the teacher to distract anybody else. So the only way to get her out the room is by laughing like right here or if you get the radio and yeah, see she heard that and then she's gonna go out and as soon as she's gone, we got everything we need, and we're good to go. So yeah, the only proven method without cheating is by laughing outside of the classroom or by using the radio. So that is debunked. You can't get a student to distract the gym teacher to steal the answer sheets on to the next one. One of my friends did this, and it worked, so here. One, wait for Midori Gorinu to go to her locker to change her shoes. Two, laugh so she would notice it and get stuck. Three, show her a dead body and all of a sudden she will become a wizard and teleport in the air and fly. For some other students, if you show them the dead body, they will do that too, but I don't really know. By the way, I love your vids, you slay. So I'm gonna have to distract Midori first. Where is her locker at? Hold on, there she is. Okay, laugh. Midori, no, don't do it. No, Midori, stop it. Stop it, Midori, mate. What the fuck? I guess the laughing doesn't stop them anymore. All right, guys, I'm doing this again, and I'm laughing while they're changing their shoes in their lockers. I think that glitch has been taken out. You can no longer stop them and freeze them as they're putting it into their lockers. So if anyone is curious about what it looks like, I'm going to go back to a previous build because I actually want to see what it looks like too. 
but from the July 8th, 2016 build and beyond, it is debunked. But just for shites and geigles, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the June 29th, 2016 build. I'm really excited to see what this one's all about because I wanna see somebody fly. Do you guys wanna see Midori fly? Well, let's check it out right now. So she's going to her locker. She's about to change her shoes, so let's laugh. Hey, 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 stop it. Midori. Nah, stop it, stop moving. Okay, the myth actually said that it works on other students and Budo seems to be teleporting to me for some reason. I don't know why. What the fuck? He just like teleported from here to here. I don't know, it must be some martial arts kind of thing. Anyway, we don't really need Midori for this to work. We have Budo right over here. So let's get a student to follow us. Actually, I gotta upgrade my seduction so I could get them to follow me. Let's get this girl to follow me. And then we are going to slay her behind the barn, as they say. Even though the barn is a big ass school called Academy High. And we are about to fly high with this Naifu to end her motherfucking life, boo! Yes! Okay, so we're gonna pick her up, and then we're gonna show Masabudo, and then we're gonna see what happens. So, there you go. We showed him the body. Oh, fucking Budo! Of course, if we show Budo, he's gonna pin us to the ground. Fuck you, Budo! That's why you're a fuckboy, Budo. Okay, let's try that again. Let's laugh. Laugh up a storm. Maybe I need to go to the other side. Whoa! The girl with the green hair just teleported to me. Hey. Okay. Stop it. Yeah, it's weird. She's not stopping for some reason, but Budo keeps going back and forth. And then these martial artists, I think they're attracted to me because they won't go away. There's Kudere, though. So we can try it with Kudere. I am going to fast forward time so we get all the students that are not glitched by the lockers. There you go. And then we are going to kill fuckboy Budo like so. There you go. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work if I just kill him. Nope. Kudere is running in place. Nobody is really floating in the air like they just don't care, though. But those students on the other side, they're still chilling. So let's see if this works. There you go. Got it. Oh, my God. This can't be happening. And then the evil girl's just she's like, yeah, boy. Yeah, buddy. Nobody's floating in the air. What the fuck? Is that blood? What happened to you? Oh, this happened to me. This martial arts fuck happened to me. Hey, buddy. Can you float in the air for me, please? No. Nope. Oh, there you go. Cool. We got it to work. He is running in the air like he just don't care. So we did get this to work. I don't know if this is exactly what you meant, but this guy is running in the air fast as fuck. Kudere is running into her locker like a dumbass. Okay, but there you guys go. This myth is debunked, but I went back to a previous build just because I was curious as to what it looked like. If you guys were curious too, there you go. We got fuckboy running in the air like he just don't care. On to the next one. Can you give a sleeping student Ebola? Okay, this one should be quick and easy to do. We have to wait for them to finish putting their stuff. Let's get Midori. We haven't tranked Midori. We usually just get her on the roof because it's so convenient, but we're actually gonna tranquilize Midori. And I want you guys to call it right now. Do you think we can give a sleeping student Ebola? I personally think that it's not gonna work. Once you trank them and then you turn on the Ebola Easter egg, I have a feeling that it's gonna be treated as like a dead body and then you won't be able to do anything to them. But anyway, Midori's in here. So let's close the dough and trank that hoe. And now, let's do the bowl of Easter egg, and... ah, mm. Okay, yeah, you can't give a sleeping student Ebola. I called it. It's like you're just treating them like a dead body, and they're ineffective to whatever Easter egg you put on. So that is officially debunked. On to the next one. You know that glitch where the martial arts members appear dead in the club activity? Does it work for the occult club? I wonder. I wonder that too. So we are in the same boat. Let's join the club. There you go. And I'm gonna get one of you to follow me. Hmm, who should I get? You know what? I'll get this guy since he's the closest to the door. Can you follow me, please? We are going to go to the back of the school. And you know what? I'm gonna try this with all the members. I'm not just gonna do one member. So let's end this fucker's life, foo. There you go. Now I just need to change my clothes into, you know, clean clothes so nobody notices me. Rinse and repeat, and then we'll get all the bodies piled up, and then we'll join the club activity, and hopefully they all spawn in there dead, and it's not just the martial arts club. Shit, shit, fuck, he saw the body. Damn it. 
<laughs> I didn't want to kill you in the hallway, but I guess I have to. And I'm running out of clothes, so I'm gonna have to get Infochan to give me the drop. Actually, let's get some more panty shots real quick. There you go. What so, you favor, need? drop, a what? new uniform. There you go. Thank you. Love you, Infochan. There you go. It's now 5 p.m. Let's talk to oh, Oka. I'm sorry. You can't be a member of this club anymore. You're too scary. Huh. That's ironic. Being kicked out of a club about scary things for being too scary. Well, ain't that a bitch? Maybe it's because I have this blood stain right here? I'm gonna try it with just one occult club member, and then we'll see if they can spawn dead in there. If they can, then I'm pretty sure it would work for multiple members too. All right, let's try this again. Gonna get this ritual naifu. We are gonna get just one guy this time, because apparently getting all the members causes Oka to get her panties in the twist. So can you please follow me behind here and take this knife to the face? And now we're just gonna change our clothes, wait till 5 p.m., and see if the occult club member spawns dead in the activity. Um, hi. Cool, so she didn't say anything, let's do the club activity. We're going to attempt to summon a demon again. Will you help us? Yes, I will. Anything for you, madame. Excellent. I hope it works this time. Okay. The occult club member didn't spawn in there dead. Everybody is still in their black robes. But maybe the guy is dead inside of the robe. We just can't see it. I highly doubt it, though. All the members are in the club, though, and nobody's missing. So I guess it doesn't matter if you kill the guy. Let me try it one more time and kill two or three people instead of just one. And then we can confirm this or debunk this. You know what, guys? Just to save us a little bit of time, here's what I'm going to do. Let's take a picture of this guy. Send it so we get his information. Okay, now we are going to get him to follow us. I call this the two-for-one special. You guys ready for this? This is better than Chinese takeout. So I'm going to get him to stop following us. There we go. We got to do this one quick, though. Really quick. Hey, I'm trying to talk to you. Damn it. There you go. Okay, ask favor. Distract. Distract your old buddy. There you go. Do it, do it, do it. Come on. Before he comes back. Fuck. All right, there you go. He's distracting them, and boom! There you go. Both dead. Nobody in the occult club saw that. So we're gonna get their bodies out of here, and then we are gonna do the club activity. We're going to. Yes, okay. Next. Good. We didn't get in trouble. She didn't turn us away. And all the occult club members are still there trying to summon a demon. So that is officially debunked. They do not appear in the club activity dead. They just appear there normally in their robes trying to summon a demon. Thank you for asking me that. On to the next one. Jay, there's something I want you to see. One, head to the faculty room. Two, go to the last row. The row not near the doors. Three, Go near the second to the last teacher on the left. Four, take out your camera and zoom in the sticky notes, which should be in the color order of yellow, violet, yellow. Five, read. You can check around the faculty room and check some hidden stuff out. Okay, so I need to go to the row behind the doors. So the ones not nearest the door, got it. And then I need to check the second to the last teacher on the left. You mean the middle one? Because there's only three. <laughs> okay, you could have said the middle teacher, but you know what? I forgive you because I love you. So we need to take out our camera, and then we need to look at these sticky notes. And actually, let me just go like this. It says, to-do list, photocopy field trip pamphlets, write new exam papers, send email to faculty members, move materials to new classroom, check school mailbox, photocopy printouts. And then the second one says gym equipment and speak to senpai. <laughs> speak to senpai. Really nigga. Hold the fucking phone. Speak to motherfucking senpai. Hey, hey, who's your senpai? It better be not my senpai. Cause I got a naifu. I've ended a few laifus. More than a few laifus. Yeah, I'm talking to you. It better not be my senpai. Oh, you're thinking about it? You said it might be my senpai, bitch. What is it to you? Okay, what's your name? Your name is Shiori Risa. Okay, 
You talking to my senpai, motherfucker? You better sit down and do those papers. Okay, so it says, speak to senpai right there, clear as day, all in capital letters on that sticky note, so you know that shit is urgent. All right, guys, I actually joined the photography club so I can zoom in on the last sticky note because I couldn't read what it said. So let's zoom in. And there you go. It says, clean apartment, wash car, call landlord about leaking pipe, buy pipe cleaner, send money to brother, clean shoes. This girl got dirty shoes. Let me see those shoes. Let me zoom in on those. What are those? Okay. She got some high heels. They're not really that dirty. But that's pretty cool, though. Seeing the sticky notes like that, I wonder if anybody else is saying anything cool. Let me zoom in on her sticky notes and see what they say. She doesn't have nice penmanship like the last one. It says, print more club app forms. And the second one says, fix errors on printouts. Make new exam papers. Send the school... What? The one in red says, send what to school board? I can't read that second word next to send. Whatever. Help with club meat. Buy eggs, milk on way home. Wash clothes tonight. Okay, she got some stinky clothes. What about this lady? What is she hiding in her sticky notes? Oh, she has one over here. Let me try zooming in on that bad boy. Damn, can barely zoom in. That's as far as I can zoom. Let me see. Ah! Reminders, submit report at 5 p.m. And there's a bunch of shit that I can't see. If you guys can read that, more power to you. I can read this one, though. Staff meeting 6 p.m. Bring dinner. Better bring the dinner. Better bring that damn dinner. And you can't read this. This one's a little bit more blurry. But this is actually really cool. I want to see what the other teachers are hiding. Oh, there you go. There you go. Reminder, submit reports at 5 p.m. Speak to guidance counselor. Meet principal. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. What about you? Staff meeting 6 p.m. And she needs to bring dinner too. Okay. So those are the things that are written on their sticky notes. These teachers back here have way more interesting ones than the ones over there. So this side of the room is really cool. This side of the room sucks. But are there any other things in this room that I could look at? How to murder. How to murder for love. Freaking amazing. <laughs> no wonder Yandere-chan is a Yandere. Damn. She could just look at these books in her school and figure out how to murder for love. Okay, is there anything else we can read here? HTML, uh, basics, programming for video games. That's cool. Just little Easter eggs in here if you guys take the time to look at it. Very cool that Yandere Dev, you know, put these things in here for people that just like to explore. So there you guys have it. That is what is written on their sticky notes. This girl says, speak to Senpai right there. That is her dirty little secret. She needs to speak to Senpai. Anyway, thank you for telling me that. On to the last myth of today's episode. Jay, I have a challenge. Go a whole day in Ebola mode while doing the regular tasks implemented in the game, like going to class but don't kill anyone. Okay, this one should be fairly easy because all you're telling me to do is go to class, and I know I can just go to class twice and then go home. That would be like the worst thing ever, right? And Yandere-chan is back in her normal clothes even though she's in Ebola mode. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go to my first class, then during lunchtime, I'll try to frame Kakona while avoiding, you know, everybody else inside the area. I'll probably frame her for like smoking or something like that, because doing the cheat sheets, it's just gonna be... I'm gonna have to wait till Friday because you can't do the cheat sheet thing until Friday. Oh shit, 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 oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. She came at me so fast! Fuck you! Okay, we gotta do that again, but we gotta avoid that girl as fast as we can right after our first class. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go run, yes! Okay, we did it. Now we can try to frame Kakona for having cigarettes in her bag. So all we have to do, get some panty shots. What do you Ask Infochan for a pack what? of cigs. And let's get this shit started. Oh, fuck. Gotta avoid you. And this challenge is actually easy when you think about it. The only part that's hard is right when you get out of class. You have to be really quick on that. Oh, shit. The teacher was about to get me there. Oh, fucking Ronshaku almost died. Fuck. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Okay. Her bag is in here. Yes. Place the cigarettes. 
and all we have to do now is tell the counselor that Kakona has the cigarettes. And I'm making this challenge harder than it actually is because technically I can just go to class twice and then just go home and then I could say challenge beaten because it really wasn't as specific. It just said go to class, but I'm making this a little bit more difficult because I love you guys. I can't do this real easy, so let's talk to her. Can I help you? Report contraband. That's a clear violation of school rules, not to mention completely illegal. If what you're saying is true, she will face serious consequences. I'll confront her about this. Thank you so much. All right, that task is complete. Now, I think we can just go back to class, do the second one, and then try to avoid the green-haired girl again, or else we are totally fucked, so... Let me make sure I'm timing everything right. I'm gonna run as soon as class ends. Fuck! What the hell? No way! No way, that is bullshit. The class ended and I spawned right here. That is dog dick. Oh man, if I can't go the full day, fuck you and fuck you and fuck you and fuck you and you. Okay. I'm gonna try that one more time, and let me get this stretching ass gym teacher. Die! Stretch on that, bitch. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time. If I end up spawning and killing her as soon as I get out of class, then I'm gonna say there's no way we can complete this challenge by doing all the tasks. So here we go. Okay, we are about to go to class for a second time. Hopefully we do not spawn. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, we did it! Okay. So that was just a one-time thing, so we're good. Okay, so let's tell the guidance counselor about Kakona and the contraband one more time, and then we can officially complete this what challenge. Can I help you with? That's a there you go. And we are good to go. All I have to do is avoid these teachers like Skrr! And then Skrr! <laughs> and there you go. We have successfully gone a day without what the fuck was that? Hold on. Everybody's clothes are white. What the fuck? Wait a minute! Why is everybody's clothes white? Are mine white? What the? That is cool! <laughs> I think I just walked into another glitch! Look at this, guys! All their uniforms are white, like they're in med school! Like they're future doctors! That's awesome! So, we completed the Ebola challenge, and we found an all-white uniform glitch in the process! You like that? Nod your head up and down if you do. Yeah? Okay, so we completed the Ebola challenge, we found people with all white uniforms, and we did it guys! Challenge one. But anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more comments, questions, or challenges you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below, and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!